Yeah, best of seven. Gengar versus Com. This is quarterfinals for Goldmine NA. And after this, we will have AJ versus Chronic. So we've got a really, a really fun side of the bracket over here. We're doing it real big. You really don't need to turn your camera off during the game now. True. If you don't want to. Oh my goodness, I can actually just be here. <laughs> You can be omniscient. You can be like the, you can be like literally a floating head in the sky on the ceiling of the map. <laughs> Just put yourself like, you know, up there next to the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, that is great. I'll just be a, a pog. Yeah, I could be in the boost. That's true. Wait uh, a minute. Let me put myself yeah. in the boost. Right. I need to flip this, though. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now this is production quality. There we go. They were just they were being extra polite. They were making sure. Okay. Oh, I've got bots. <laughs> we're gonna say <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Why did nobody notice? It's been there the whole time. Actually, I don't think I had that showing, did I? Give me a second. There we go. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> More all-star bots. That's what I'm talking about, production quality, right? <laughs> All right. I think we're ready for this. Gengar versus Calm. My money has to go on Calm. He beat Lion Blaze to get into this tournament. Um, so I think he's he has to be the favorite here, right? Wait, let me make sure that I'm actually on the boost. There we go. I have become the boost. Do I need to be uh -huh. inside it? Oh, yes! <laughs> Pay homage to me! Wait. Yes! <laughs> well, then I need to put you in a different location. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to put you here. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, I can't say I've ever casted any game from inside the boost before, but um, we're going to give it a go. I have to hold you my head great. really still. Hold on. I, th I think we're going to be dropping frames if I don't minimize OBS, so I don't want to give you guys the worst frame rates of all time. So I will minimize that for now. Can we do this every stream? I think it may lose its effect if we did it every stream, but we can do it for this one. Um, but yeah, all, you know, quite a low scoring start here. Calm 4 1 Lion Blaze in the qualifiers for this, and although Gengar beat Forky and uh, beat Mile, who was playing on Hotel Wi Fi. I don't think he's going to be able to handle Calm today. Calm when he's feeling good. He could do some pretty incredible things with the Rocket League ball. Really loving what I saw in that first point. Both players made a sacrifice to me, Boomer, the god of demos. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. That's really all you're here for. Absolutely. Less goals, more demos. We're good. Whoa. First killer FF'd. Seriously? What? Is he out trick or treating or something? Is that getting the. <laughs> Did nobody tell him he could just like stay in, win the tournament, and then buy a whole pile of candy with the prize money? What's he done? How much. How much, seriously, like money value do you think you can get in, in one like round of trick or treating? Uh, boomer. What do, you, what do you think you could get um, if you really went in and like took everything that you could? A cool 15k for sure. <laughs> I guess in that case it was a good idea that he didn't play the tournament. He's gonna be rolling. I'm just kidding. Did you see that demo? It was great. <laughs> that guys, I'm trusting you in Twitch chat about that. Is that seriously? He's actually just FF. No way. Well, we're gonna get a new NA winner in a 1v1 tournament. He, he won the first killer one salt mine. He won salt mine two. He's a no show. He won Fusion, but he's officially a no-show. First killer DQ. Wow. Well, that's exciting because we will get a new tournament winner. Um, but I, I'm sure that whoever won wins this tournament would have rather, you know, beat first killer along the way to winning it. Um, and AJ's been playing really well. calm has been playing really well. I'm sure they were feeling pretty confident going into this. Um, but Gengar's got the lead early on here. We maybe need to pay him a bit more respect. One thing that I did notice from his match against Farky, I had a chance to go back and watch that one. The aerial defense of this guy has significantly improved since the last time that I saw him play when he was really struggling to defend against aerial goals. And Farky is extremely famous for that style. But Gengar was... He was just all over him. He was saving everything. Combs tied us up here, though. 
And I think as long as he can try to keep control of the ball, he should still be the favorite. Nice shot here from Calm. Could have followed through and gotten the demo, but either way, it's a good flick. Ties up the game 2-2. Beautiful. So people are new to Calm 1v1. You need to keep an eye on this guy whenever he makes a beeline for the, the mid boost. Because every single time that I that he that he can. Oh, he's got a reset here just for fun. He he will be looking for flip resets. He will be looking for mid-air flicks and you know rebounds off of mid-air flicks. He's he's very good at chaining together highly mechanical moves. Um and it actually making them work. It's it's competitive. He's not just styling on his opponent trying to get some clips. This is how he wins games. Can I try and find the reason Farskill didn't show? Um, not at the moment. I'm a little bit busy keeping an eye on the boost over here. Uh, watching this 1v1 game. That is up to you guys to You're so vigilant. let us know. I am at one with the boost, Boomer. Oh, the man in the weird cam got him beat. Oh, oh he, no! He pinches wow. it out. He's, was, gonna need, he's gonna need to demo. Is that, Take I think out his frustration. That's that's gonna be all of the the problems that you ha highlight tonight. It, yeah, could have he could have gone for a demo there. What about bumps? Are bumps sufficient? He only got him with a little bit of a bump there, just a love tap maybe, on the way past. Yeah, there it is. A, a little a tap. Bump is uh, it's nice. It's just not you know the whole thing. That's all. A little bit less theatrical. Okay. It's a little bit less explody. This better not be a Halloween troll. Is he just going to be a secret like, final ball? What's it like to commentate from on the pitch? Is it easier? Because you can oh, just definitely. see everything. Well, see, very, very often, casters will struggle to keep up with the boost totals of all players. Not a problem. I am... Um, keep. I, it, it is just... It's automatic, really. Um, I don't even have to think about it. See, 79 boost. I didn't even look. 43 boost. For 24. Uh, 6. Not even looking, I swear. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Come for that three. Is in. That's a bit unlucky for Gengar, but still good challenge from uh, Calm. He went on this full side of the ball. Gengar did not. What are these settings? What do you mean? Have you never seen a Gengar game? Gengar, this is. These are actually unironically the settings that he plays with, and he is extremely good with them. Um, he makes them look more than viable. Take a look at Calm's run to get into this tournament. He was killing everybody. He, he four, beat Lion Blaze four games to one. Four one. That's crazy. And, and uh, Gengar's hanging with him. He was playing really well that same day, actually. I saw his stream and he was playing very good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's, that's uh, you know, even more impressive for uh, for Com. But, they, you know, there's there's just players out there who are like that. When they get rolling, they're just so hard to stop. I think Com, AJ, uh, they're probably the two players in this bracket who I would... Um, you know, put it right at the top of that category. But, you know, any of them really. The mechanical ability across the board uh, is just so impressive these days. If anybody's just feeling good, if anybody's having a good day, then they could take this tournament for sure. I, I, I'm uh, pretty happy to see some new top four, play top eight players for NA as well, though. Both of these guys being some of them. Gengar with the lead, 38 seconds left. He's actually making it happen. You gotta love the trolley spirit of my man Gengar here with the kazoo confetti boost or whatever that is. What is this? Is this a lot? It's a confetti boost. Yeah, I think it is. It's a new one though. But then it's he's also the he's got the is it the lawnmower rocket trail? Oh, he got the save off a bump! Oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure he missed that. But Com bumped Gengar into the ball by accident, and. That has kept the ball out of the net. So either Gengar is one step ahead once again, or Calm a bit unlucky this time. This is the Scarab booster motor sound, I think. Is it? Yeah. Wow, that is the most annoying sound of all time. All right, Calm needs bad. a zero second goal here. He's got is the he reset. Oh! Air dribble off the flick. Calm with a zero second equalizer. What a comeback. It's not a demo, but I'll allow it. I mean, it's very nice indeed. <laughs> that means more coming from the god of demos than anybody else. If he allows your non-demo goal, it must have been pretty good. But that's just calm for you. 
This guy knows how to land a reset and then play a very effective shot past anyone. Gengar with an advantageous position in the overtime um, up until now. And there's the demo. Uh, He's got a little bit of time here. Come on the respawn with some really weird looking settings. I think this is a bug, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about. Gengar's got to be careful. Boost it. Complete. I had to bug earlier. I was trying to, I was like, Gengar settings don't look weird. Oh! He's got him! Com's done it. 6-5. I don't think Gengar's going to be too tilted by that. Mentally, he seems to be really solid from what I've seen from him in the past, but even still, you were so close to winning game one. Single elimination bracket makes it even more uh, painful to drop a game like that one. It's tough. It's tough. And you don't want to let a player like Calm gain momentum, you know? Mm. You can't stop at 100%, but you don't want him getting fired up like he was in the last event. Oh, yeah, for sure. Th th this is going to be a big turning point. Well, this is going to be a, bi a big uh, moment now just to see how Gengar responds to... Um, not just losing one, but losing it in such a disastrous fashion. So, yeah, now, now we get to find out if Gengar is going to just keep the same game plan, just counter attack, and try and surprise Calm with his challenges, or is, is he going to switch things up? Is he going to maybe go for some uh, sneaky ball chasing? Oh, big flick there from Gengar. Calm's quick to it though, moving nicely. I kind of want to oh, play wow. with Gengar settings for like a week. Wow, look at this touch as he leaves the corner. This is so, it's its so difficult to land correctly. Look at that, just a little pop on the ball, kicks it into the side wall and into a position that he can attack and Calm can not defend. That's a beautiful, uh, awkward touch on the exit. Should we do that, Johnny? Should we play with Gengar settings for a week? What about just we switch to Gengar settings full time? Hey, if he wins this tournament, then I think there's going to be a lot of people trying them out and True. finding out immediately just how difficult they are. I mean, just getting a flick or a shot, like anything really simple with these settings is hard enough. Never mind the advanced things that he can pull off. Three nil. Well, Gengar 30 seconds in already laying down the law here. Yeah, come a bit He's side onto good. that kickoff. Gengar powers through it. That's the thing about kickoffs. Gengar should win all of them. Yeah, you can He'll, see, you're right? You're on his cam, you can see everything. You can see where everybody's lined up, where to like hit the ball. It's an unreal. Huge advantage. Yeah, play, players who um, you know, really rely on sneaky challenges to beat their opponent don't tend to do so well against Gengar. Luckily for Calm, I wouldn't really put him in that category. Um, but players who love to fake challenges and, you know, go for rush challenges, hiding behind the ball on their way in. Not a good idea against Gengar, because whereas other players might not be able to see you coming, he can, um, and very early as well. Oh, he's missed the open net, though. Just a gift, run. another really poor kickoff from Com, but Gengar couldn't punish him this time. Dangerous dribble coming from Com, oh. and he hits the inside of the post and out. He had Gengar dead to rights there, just couldn't quite put it away. You can tell that this is awkward for Com in this game. He, he hasn't been able to establish as many, uh, you know, flashy plays as he usually does. I think uh, I, I was asking, Athena casted Com's group in the group stages, the qualifier for this tournament. She said that in one game, Com landed uh, six flip reset flicks um, in one game. And some of them had rebounds attached to them as well. So we haven't seen anything c compared to that in terms of volume yet. Uh, I, I do really attribute that to Gengar. It's making it extremely difficult for Com to get set up on these plays. That's too slow to result in a goal after the kickoff, but Com with the boost seal should still be in a very good position. Weak shot, though, in the follow-up. Yeah, that, that, uh... Oh! oh. I was just going to say, the, the, the goal before this that Gengar gave up, he drove too far forward. It seems to be that, like, at a distance is, is where this, this, uh... This cam setting is is weak. It's hard to it's hard to judge. Yeah, you know, where you should be in relation to the ball when you're like very far away. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and that was quite an interesting uh, exchange as well. So come with the half flip kickoff. We've seen that becoming more popular these days. Um, but Gengar 
he will always be able to see that nice and early. The only problem was I don't think he knows the counter um, to that one. It's just recently something that I saw from Dead Monster in uh, a series against Louis P over in Europe. He actually takes a wider line when he sees his opponent half flipping onto the, the corner boost on the kickoff. He just goes, grabs a small pad, does a 180, and then just goes in straight back into his corner with it. Um, and grabbing that small boost is really the key for me, keeping momentum. But Dead Monster is the only player in the world who I've seen do this. I, I don't think it's gotten uh, spread around quite yet, that there's such a hard counter to the half flip kickoff. At least that's how it seemed when Dead Mo in Dead Monster versus Louis B. 4-3 now, Com. Had a lead last game around about the same time, I believe. He's got one this game, too. Yeah, easy beat there for Com. It's, uh... Yeah, it's... It's, I, it's mind-blowing watching the game from Gengar. From Gengar's it POV. really is. It's a different game completely. Like, when you see <laughs> Com get bumped or, like, knocked away at one of the plays, I almost started laughing because I'm like, oh, this just looks so comical with the car so <laughs> zoomed out. It looks like Micro Machines playing Rocket League. It's it really so does. Weird. Look how small the ball looks as well. But again, he's caught in a bad position shadowing. And this you seems know, to be the weak spot, yeah. Yeah, Gengar's not the only one who's making some solid... Well, he's not really a read when Gengar makes it. He just sees it. He doesn't have to read the position. He can just see the position. Um, but I like that Calm is also predicting some challenges very effectively as well. Sorry about the slight... Uh, frame drops there. I think one of the goal explosions is causing that, guys. Um, but yeah, the, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe try and get that sorted out after this. Maybe I can find uh, what is making that happen. So one question to which chat. Did the other stream just move straight on to the second quarter final that they have? Are we going to be playing catch-up all night now? Are we, are we uh, holding up the event? They have? Okay, so... That means they said uh, they were gonna restream us. They s uh, said if it was okay, and I said yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, that's uh, totally fine. If they if they get um, you know a couple of four O's and we're over here with three game sevens, they're gonna be waiting a while with uh, the first killer forfeit. Did anybody find out on Twitter yet from this first killer? Made any uh, any announcements? So he had a last minute uh, scrim. Come Do we know up part well? of the country he's from? Yeah, maybe he's got like a... Is, are there hurricanes right now? There's and, uh, a bunch of different stuff happening. I don't know right. which natural disaster or presidential disaster or <laughs> virus or whatever it could be. Basically, the world's melting down, so who knows? There may be a legitimate reason, I guess, is my point. Yeah, yeah, no, I, we, we definitely want to just find out and make sure that he's all right because, yeah, we had... Um, Mile had to dip from the qualifier earlier because, or, uh, earlier this week because there was a hurricane in his area. His entire building was evacuated. Um, I think Adam had to go to the hospital because his sister had been taken to the hospital. So, you know, we, we are first and foremost just want to make sure that all is well. Um, uh, AJ has we leaked it. Will we find out that he's asleep or something? Then we, <laughs> then we meme. Then we meme. Yeah, then, then we hit him with all of the all the memes. AJ says he's scrimming first killer right now. First killer is replacing Squishy. You know, I actually I did wonder that. I was thinking um, when when uh, Turbo got benched, I was like, oh, I wonder like what would, what would have been the the spiciest replacement. First killer was definitely an interesting idea um, for NRD to grab. I think Sipical is another one. That I was thinking would just be an instant best team in the world combo. Because, uh, you know, you're not only improving your own team, but you're making another top team in the region worse. Just kind of like what Flipside uh, did after Season 1, picking up Greasy, uh, weakening Weedem Girls. Yeah, no, Turbo didn't get benched from any guys. I'm talking about NRD, NRD. I'm not leaking anything here. I don't know any information that I can leak. Okay, so Lion Blaze down 5-2 over there. That's, uh... That's going to be an interesting one to keep an, uh, to keep an eye on. We want de plenty of updates on that one from you guys as well. Hear how Mektos is getting on. Com's doing great over here. Uh, game one was tricky, but now Com's in full swing. Yeah, it's starting to, starting to pull away with it here. It, it's mm. not too far apart in uh, points, but it does feel like Com has, has very clear control right now. Even if it's not yeah. his flashy, normal, crazy self, it does not feel like he's he's that threatened. Yeah, I mean, he saved... I guess he's just going to save the insane flashy plays for 
zero second equalizers like game one. Um, that's when he pulled out the best player of the series so far to clutch it up at the end of the game. But remember guys, this is a best of seven, so there's still time uh, for Gengar to figure this one out. I'm sticking obviously with my prediction from earlier on though. I think if, you know, if Com can 4-1 Lion Blaze in the group stage qualifier, then I think he can probably take down Gengar as well. Gengar took Mektos to game seven. Well, he, when he came second in, in his group, so yeah, he, he's he's. This is a big win if Com can comfortably win this. That that means you know, Com is one of the favorites for sure to take down this whole tournament, especially in the absence of first killer. Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. I think uh, with the way that he was playing and uh, the fact that he he won his group so handily. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's he's definitely already in the conversation for somebody that can take the whole who, thing. Who is sure. your tournament favorite at this point now that um, First Killer has forfeited round one? AJ actually. Like, AJ same, was playing same. out of his mind on my stream uh, for the other groups. Um, and, uh, and yeah, he just, it just, it was very similar to watching Jurios uh, mm. in EU on the second day. And it was just, like, you know, they were doing whatever they wanted, basically. Yeah, didn't he just completely manhandle Magic Bear? Um, he, he, he manhandled everybody. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, the you know, beating Magic Bear so, like in a, in a mechanical war is is crazy because Magic Bear is such a fast player. He's so uh, mechanical himself, so I, I I can't even imagine how good AJ must have been playing to beat him in such one-sided fashion. Calm is starting to run away with this as well. By the way, this There's is getting a bit risky. Of salt coming out too, which I'm enjoying. Calm hit uh, Gengar with a wow on that one and a bunch of nice shots on the last Oh wait, did he? Uh, do I have my, oh yeah, I yeah. Do have yeah, my chat yeah. off. Wait a minute, I need to fix that. There was I a I bunch had of enabled. nice shots in the last game and a wow just now and then he sort of slowly walked it in to oh, rub it look in. look at him go. Calm is just speedy. He just puts it straight in. Yeah, Calm is on another level. Gengar was up in the air first, but look at the speed of Calm. When you, I mean, when you get up that much faster than your opponent for these aerial plays, you don't imagine that they're going to beat you to it by jumping at this late. So, okay. Maybe, maybe first killer just he knew how well Calm was playing and he thought, nah. Just got a, got a uh, no show for this one. Can't take the, can't bear taking a loss in an NA1 starting. Yeah, but seriously guys, if, if uh, that does, uh, if we do find out where what happened to first killer, do let us know we're both Extremely curious. Good save, Gengar. Keeping this respectable and competitive. Calm's recoveries are just so fast. Almost never seems to be out of position now. As this game goes on and on. Another reset set up. He's got it. And oh, Gengar with another beautiful save. To make it now a two-goal game. That was outstanding. The man with the weird cam does it again. Look at him go. What a marvel. I, I mean, that was just a... We, we talked earlier about him not having to make reads because he can see everything, but, you know, when he's goalkeeping for the preset plays, you have to read because that is so last second, last split second that you even see what's happening. You just have to know, and he stayed very, very high on that one, reading that Com would uh, land the reset and then shoot the ball into the top shelf of the goal. Look at Com though. Oh, this is just unreal. And he's wowing himself. Nice shots, this Gengar. He's keeping it wholesome. Oh, look Ooh. at the power comp. That's just crazy that we see this in competitive ones these days. Yeah, absolutely insane. That, uh, the acceleration from that flick <laughs> to the backboard was unreal. Mad. I think that's part of the reason why Gengar didn't even get into position in time is because that yeah. accelerated so quickly. Yeah, it was just, it was just too fast. It, it all just happened far too quickly. Um, for him to react to. But that's the that's the danger with Calm is some of these plays that he's putting on net, they really are so unique and they're so undefendable. And nobody has a problem with uh, undefendable flip reset plays, at least not that I've seen. Oh. Um, they're quite happy to watch those. They'll call uh, you know air dribble demos and air dribble bumps the undefendable moves and complain about them. But nobody nobody complains about beautiful shots like that. Did you, did you see that from Gengar's perspective? I didn't. I was in comms POV. It was so manipulative, dude. He just sat back and knew that the 50-50 was going to go his way. He could tell the whole time. Because there's space between him and Com. He just parks the bus. The ball rolls towards Com and comes right back to him. And 
That was like uh, oh. as undefendable as the uh, is the the flip reset. It's crazy. I mean, look, look at he, the 50-50s. He's done it again. He just sees Calm diving in, reacts perfectly. I love the way that he's leaning back into that one as well, just to make sure that he controls the ball as much as possible. Still extremely uh, playable here. This series for for Gengar is going to be obviously very difficult from this point, but it is doable. He, he can definitely do this. Do you, do you think that this emotional investment that Calm clearly has in the series could be his detriment if Gengar somehow gets his uh, gets an edge again later in the series? He's done him again. Oh, it's off oh, the bar no. though. Demo it. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> it has. There's not been many demos. A lot of bumps. Mechtos 2 won in game 2. Did Mechtos win game 1 as well? See, uh, playing very oh, well. Oh no! What wow. was that? Oh, calm hit him with the question mark. Wow, that's so toxic. Look at him. Oh, he just, I think he might have just flipped the wrong way. I think that is a, just a brain fart. Did you see him boosting forwards while he side flipped? Um, you know, I, I think even at the pro level, sometimes you're thinking, okay, I gotta go backwards, I'm reversing, and then your brain tells you, guess what? If you boost, you go faster. But, uh, yeah, and then true. you end up just boosting away from the ball. Nice flick from Gengar, but Calm can handle it. Does Gengar ever do flip resets? Oh my goodness, does he? Did Gengar flip reset Farky the other day? I didn't get to... I didn't get to, like, really, you know, watch the entire series bit by bit. Had to, um, skip through. Face cam not correct. When you face, when you say face cam not correct, what do you mean? Do you mean that part of my face is missing, including my predominant facial feature? Because if that's what you're referring to, then I, um, delighted to you're inform wrong. you that this is, in fact, correct. Uh, it's actually perfect. Great, okay. Just wanted to make sure. And we were still functional over here. Good save. Calm is on the fast track to a 3-0. Gengar, despite his best efforts, has just really struggled to surprise Calm sufficiently. He's put another open air rebound wide. And the chances are running out. Oh, Honestly, look at him go. Oh, he almost had the double off the floor. Watching Gengar like win like goals and points against uh, players like this makes me feel like what it must be like to watch me score points on players that are like <laughs> more mechanically better than me, if you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. none of the play is like really crispy. It's all very like sloppy and sort of like awkward, if that makes sense. Yeah, but then when, too when, rude. when you watch it from the opponent's perspective, it actually looks a lot cleaner because then does, you, yeah. you're not looking at the car really far away. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing for me that happens when, whenever you turn on director camera, I mean, I could do it. Um, I think, what is the director camera button? Here we go. I mean, when you watch Rocket League in, in director camera, the, the, plays, the players look slower um, mm. and the recoveries look a lot slower. That's why I prefer player camera POV, um, personally, because you, you, you get to see the, you know, all the intricacies and all the mechanical skill. But yeah, with Gengar settings, I mean, you get a, it's so far away that, yeah, like you said, it looks very clunky at times. Uh, but you gotta watch him from comms POV, then he starts to, you, you start to see why this can work so well. Yeah, I think, I think you're right about that. And calm from comms POV looks yeah. very elegant and very crispy almost the entire time. One of the really, crispiest really players. Really excellent to watch, yeah. Brilliant stuff, he, he's dominating. And you know, it's, it's a shame to see Gengar in such a rough position, but this is a, it, it is a best of seven, so it's not over just yet. Let's see now if he can dig himself out of this hole that he's found himself in. I think that game from him had probably the most unforced errors that we've seen in any, any of the games yet. But let's see, if he, if he can just calm down a little bit, just start to play uh, a very, very intelligent game, instead of trying to battle Calm for these races to the ball like we saw earlier, then maybe there's a chance for Gengar. Yeah, he's switching up the car. He's going to be the Octane now. Just look at this thing. What <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful car design. A real peach. Well, what do you reckon? What, what, what would you put the percentage chance of Gengar coming back here at? Um, 60? <laughs> wow. 
That is extremely high. <laughs> well, he must be feeling great about his chances now. Tom's going to go one up in this as well. And it is exactly what I didn't want to see. Gengar's kind of racing Calm to the ball. And Calm is the one playing the smart game. That's uh, the role reversal, essentially, from uh, what Gengar is usually doing to his opponents. All right. Calm with the flip reset there into the flick off the wall. It was done pretty well, but Gengar... A nice save Nicely and done. now found himself out of position. That first touch by Calm was just beautiful. Yeah, perfect touch by Calm. He knows that Gengar is going to land poorly, so he bounces the ball very quickly off the back wall so that the counter-attack can not only start on the next hit, but the shot can be coming on the next hit as well. Um, Gengar, I, I've got to say, you know, two times in this game already, I mean, he's charged in for a challenge. Is he using his superior um, knowledge and uh, his superior vision in that play? Not really. And same thing when he goes for a very risky wall shot. It's a good old classic. If you go for a wall shot in that position, you're out of the game briefly. You're at the mercy of your opponent. And Calm is clinical right now. This is all why I said that Gengar has a 16% chance of a comeback. Oh, you said si 16. Ah, that's, uh, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. I was, I was leaning a bit more towards 6. Right now, I would probably put it like 2, maybe 2% 2 chance because... It's not because I doubt Gengar's ability to play well. It's just Calm is on fire. He is on such a hot streak. This might be the best that I've seen Calm play. Gengar again missing the target. And Calm's going to steal the boost away. Um, I mean, is it a steal if it's in his own end? Oh. Ball chase from Gengar, though. Okay, now we get to see the camera settings coming into good effect. He got his eye on Calm. Sees exactly where he is. That was actually very sneaky to stick around there. Because he needed Calm to touch that. And Calm did. Nice work by Gengar, working on going from 3% up to 16%. Big jumps. For the comeback. Big, big jumps, yeah. I don't think he's too happy with the way he was playing. I was on board for the beginning of that last point, and he uh, was doing, you know, some violent camera shaking. Yeah. Some very frustrated camera shaking. It's funny how often you see that kind of thing in 1v1. You get the, the, the frustrated camera shakes. And the other, I think the other tell, I've talked about this, quite a few times on stream recently. But my other tell for a player being tilted is, you know, if it, whenever somebody concedes uh, on a mind game or a bump goal or a demo goal, or, uh, you know, just concedes three or two or three goals extremely quickly, and then suddenly their car is just motionless um, for the, mm -hmm. you know, two or three seconds after the goal is scored, waiting for the replay, that is never a good sign. Uh, you know, it usually means that they're wiping the sweat off their hands or uh, they're just like, putting their controller down and thinking, what am I doing wrong? Oh, it, it doesn't scream confidence to me at all. Oh. oh. Gengar is sort of just peppering hits and shots Oh, there the we go. Yep, beats pre -flip. him on that one. Got, gets the pre-flip to land also. And there you go. This is what Gengar needs to do. He, he sees Calm coming in and then he outplays him. He, he's got to start playing off the superior knowledge, the superior vision he's got. That's what the whole point of these settings are. They're not for precision, they're for vision. And Gengar hasn't been playing this, uh, the latter end of the series, um, or the middle games, I guess, if we do go all the way, as if that was the case. He's been trying to battle Calm mechanically. Oh, he shoots straight at him. Calm just fell on top of this. Gengar's still in a really good position, though. Has full boost, and there's the equalizer. Two minutes in line left, Gengar's back. When he came out of the goal, look at this. Look at this little look back here. When you, oh, you didn't see it in the replay, but when he came out of the goal and he used his uh, right stick to, to do the look back, he could see so much. <laughs> he could see so much. It was very obvious that he was going to be able to collect that ball and take a shot. Like, it wasn't, mm. a, it wasn't a question mark at all. Whereas if he had, you know, sort of traditional settings, it would have been. That was, Ooh, uh, once again, the, the same kickoff that we talked about earlier, the fake kickoff. Well, not even a fake. Khan doesn't even pretend to go for it. He literally just half flips into the boost, and he knows Gengar can see that because he is uh, playing with the uh, max camera settings. Once again, he's half flipped into the boost, but Gengar is not using the same counter strategy the Dead Monster did uh, show us just a couple of weeks ago. You've got to take that wide line. You've got to grab one of the other small boost pads, use that to propel yourself around in a circle very quickly, and then run the boost or run the ball into your back corner. Comes almost starved here. Gengar 
Looking to capitalize. He's actually run out of boost as well. Woo! This is, uh, Gengar's managed to make this one close. Calm off the Ooh. ceiling here, but really nice recovery when he realized that uh, he was in trouble for doing it. Uh, this is an obvious leaks. It's a calm off the wall play. He doesn't mess these up. 5-3, Gengar is, uh, I was about to say he's on the ropes. I think right now he's just outside the ring, hanging onto the ropes, trying to climb back in. This is disastrous. Um, and again, he's gone for a rushed play. Calm's beating him to the ball. Gengar, he's not, he's not been able to find himself in sufficient positions where he can use those settings to his advantage. Calm is just controlling this match so well. Gengar oh. the triple and makes it happen. I don't know, that wasn't, I don't think that was camera settings. That was just, just sort of awkward position here for Calm. Yeah, Calm got very close. He's, he's just stopped in no man's land, I guess. Um, Maybe he didn't realize that Gengar was actually going to make a play on that. He might have been reading another one of those fake 50-50s where Gengar just backs off and he hopes that Com flips into the ball to pass it to him. Uh, obviously, Gengar does know how to make these flick plays. He's been bumped oh! in the middle of the air. Still got the rebound ball! He puts it in the bar! And Com is trying to tilt him entirely out of this series now. That was wide open again. Here comes Com with a flick. He's landed really poorly. Very well saved by Gengar. Can he get the counterattack going quickly? No, he can't. He needs a goal soon. Oh, I can't believe he didn't oh! tap that in. But with the flick over the top, should be no problem. There we go. Gengar, 5-5. Five, five. Missed the open net on the rebounds. I mean, I, like I said, he did get knocked just slightly mid-air there. It, the, the, the two cars did collide, which makes it a bit awkward. But it looked like he figured it all out. He, he'd steadied himself and then composed himself just to hit the bar. Luckily... That hasn't carried on into his next plays. Uh, Gengar's in a great position here. One bump, two bumps. He's got Calm all the way into the goal, just so he can steal the other boosts away from him. 20 seconds remaining. Calm has saved up a fair bit of boost here, though. Gengar might not realize just how much acceleration Calm can bring out of this position. He sees him coming, though. Plays it around him. Extremely tense end game here. Gengar needs to win if he's going to stay in the match. Here comes Calm. It's bouncing slowly on target. Gengar has got the vision, though. Knows not to panic. Now he's got the zero second dribble. Oh, it's no! not going to be far enough. It was a good try, but... He yeah, he just didn't get enough power. <gasps> okay, surely. Yep. Nice he's shot from it. Calm. Gengar takes the game. Yeah, Calm cannot be too happy about that. Bet he wanted the sweep. He just wants to be out of this lobby. He doesn't want to hear the car anymore. He doesn't want to hear the, the boost trail. He doesn't want to hear the engine sound. Everything right now is probably... The, the, you know, the amount that Calm is getting triggered has to be increasing by the minute. I'm just waiting for Gengar to ocal at him and just unload with some quick chats or something at some point. I feel like he's just hiding the dagger. <laughs> You know what yeah, I mean? he's saving it. Oh, he's saving the quick chat to tilt him when it makes the biggest difference. That's spectacular. Gengar is so smart. What a genius of a player. <laughs> I love that we're giving him credit for it before he's actually done it. But yeah, Just wait. He's going to pull it out. Gengar starting the reverse sweep. Got, uh, Twitch chat news that Lion Blaze is winning 7-0 in uh, the other game on the Gold Rush stream. That's a little bit of a one-sided match over there. Looks like uh, we've got a closer run. I mean, even though Com was winning 3-0 here, the games were close. You know, Gengar kept them all extremely competitive. We didn't have any complete shutouts or annihilations in the scoreline. Gengar is uh, still still working on this comeback. The spirit, the fight is there. Yeah, you got to rate this guy mentally. I mean, everybody that he plays against must be giving him some, uh, you know, quick chat, text chat, complaining at him. They're like, what are you doing? Your mechanics are trash. He's probably heard it all, you know? He's probably heard it all, and he just brushes it off, keeps on playing his way. Oh, he's almost tied this here. Low 50-50, bouncing off the inside of the post. Oh, oh! Nicely done, but Calm with an incredible save. <laughs> what? 
That was an insane read. Gengar's got a good save as well, and he's landed effectively inside the post. Now comes a follow-up. He deflects the ball into the crossbar instead. Calm and able to put a fast shot on target. And he, of course, Calm knows that Gengar can probably see him come into that position, so he doesn't go completely all in for the demo. Pills away with the recovery afterwards. Great defense by both players. Wait, Calm tweeted mid-series. I would try to get that up on my phone so I can read it, but I can't unlock my phone with my green suit gloves on. I actually, it might, doesn't recognize my thumb, so somebody has to tell me what he said. Matt, are you, you able I'm to get it. the calm tweet? The mid-series tweet? I'm stuck, Matt. I'm locked out my phone until we're done with this cast tonight. How to kick off. Wait, this isn't Google. Oh, did he actually just tweet how to kick off? Yes. Wow. No respect. He's putting all of the series down the kickoff goals right now. Right, Gengar not playing for the boost. Instead goes for the ball. You know what I'm waiting to see? I'm waiting to see Gengar use the camera look down just to, have, just to get even more vision. It's like, this isn't enough. What a save! Brilliant read there on the rebound. Gengar hunting for the open net, and he gets it. Let's look at the consistency with the power shots that Gengar has. Beautiful. So... so <laughs> Dude, so players are actually mad that he uses these camera settings. They're like, it, people let that bother them. I believe so. Gengar's car. Well, I think the, I think the, <laughs> so the amalgamation funny. of Gengar's car, the noise that his car makes, his uh, camera oh, settings. Man. I think all of that and just the way that he plays the game, because you know these camera settings, they lead to extremely unorthodox play, and people queue up to one v one, and they expect to go up against you know a ball chaser who's going for all these fancy plays, because that's what everybody does. Everybody in rank these days, especially in NA, they're all just, um, you know, discount first killer, uh, discount AJ kind of players, um, but discount calm even. But yeah, it, Gengar couldn't be any more different if he tried. I think that annoys people. That is great. Just listen, just listen to the part. <laughs> listen to the party. I, I mean, <laughs> if, you're, if you're so mentally weak, that someone's <laughs> car choices and like <laughs> boost noise choices and stuff will stop you from being able to win or make you so mad that you have to be like super rude to them. I don't know. It's I don't know. Like incredible. it might be, it might be a strategy from Calm as well. Um, it could, it really could be either okay. or. Yeah. I mean, Calm yeah. has after tough losses in one tournaments in the past, you know, tweeted out uh, some some prime salt for us to enjoy. So we, we're, we, you know, we're, we really appreciate him for that. Um, you know, providing content in and out of the game. But um, it could also just be a way to get into it under Gengar's skin. You know, maybe he's trying to tilt Gengar. We, we saw Azrael try and do that to Khaled in uh, EU, uh, EU Salt Mine 2, and it didn't mm -hmm. work out. But, you know, you, you, you always got to give it a go. You think, yeah, maybe if I want to save this guy for the ninth time, that'll be the one that really winds him up. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. Oh, let me hit him with the OK. That's, that's the popular one that all the players use these days, isn't it? Yep. I mean, what do you guys think, Twitch chat? What should Calm do? What's the quick chat that, that he's missed out on so far? I'm asking the real questions now. I just love listening to it. Gengar's car. I, th I think, like, go on Calm's POV, Matt. Uh, go on his, oh, go on his POV. Yeah, and then just listen to this this little... Every time he goes past, it's... Oh, it must be so tilting. Oh! Did he just miss this? I think he was trying to stop it on the goal line. Close to one says calm. A good choice, I must say. A good choice. Holy. Didn't get the touch. For some reason. Some Didn't weird get reason. it. Yeah. Well, there's I that. Mean, I would, I would fake. I would do normal chat, but I would make it look like quit chat, and I would say, "Nice settings." <laughs> <laughs> what a camera. That, that would be my yeah exactly. What an FOV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great FOV. Oh man, that's how you create rank question <laughs> mark. Hey, Calm is going in. He is going yeah, in on Gengar. Weird. I like that one. I like that one. That a lot. is a good one. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I, I like some of his choices. Close one is a really good, solid option to go for when your opponent just misses a save. I think that's top tier. Um, Close one, unlike your camera. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, if he thought of that, that would have been amazing. Close one, unlike your camera distance. Can you imagine? Somebody go and tell Com, tweet, tweet Com. He's watching his Twitter, apparently, in the middle of the series here. 
Go and tell him to use that one in the, in the last 50 seconds. I think he might have this still, Matt. Five to two. Gengar needs to come back. Yep. This match was one of the 84% where uh, Gengar didn't get the... Six. Didn't get the comeback. It's unfortunate. And you know, Kama has done well. We're, we're uh, you know, we're kind of rooting for a closer series, as always, because um, we want to see more Gengar turns. <laughs> but Kama has played very well. He's not been uh, completely caught off guard by Gengar's unorthodox play style and the superior knowledge that he has compared to all other Rocket League players. Just the depth of this guy's intelligence. Um, it's a difficult pit to climb out of. <laughs> I think I was trying to disrespect him here at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's trying to... <laughs> he's going for the tilt even when he's winning. Can you believe this? <laughs> Outplayed, says Gengar. <laughs> oh, I love Gengar. He's actually just a treasure. What if Com throws here? What if he throws? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's got this. <laughs> he's <laughs> good. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, he's I was like, if he concedes okay. here, then maybe there's a chance. Because, you know, a two-goal game with 20 seconds, that's doable when a kickoff's coming up. But, yeah, well played. Com is, Com is looking sharp today. Um, Going to be a complete change when he gets into that semifinal against either AJ or Chronic. I mean... That's, that is the two opposite ends of the spectrum. Gengar at one end, AJ, Chronic at the other. So... He needs to get back into training and, uh, you know, speed up here. It's going to become a mechanical war after the next round starts. GG's from Gengar. Only respect from him. Even getting a little consolation mind game goal at the end. What a lad. No hard feelings, says Kami. I think he's just trying to give us a little bit of salt. Somebody should have told him it's a gold mine, not the salt mine. And good luck against AJ. Oh, the disrespect! Gengar, the disrespect to Chronic! <laughs> Wow. Oh, Gengar is such a legend. This guy, man. Chronic is punching air somewhere right now. You know that Chronic will be watching us. Chronic, are you in Twitch chat right now? Reveal yourself. Where is Where he? Where are you? Where, Where are you, Chronic? Where are you? There he is. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, that's so brilliant. Listen, GG's. Gengar, you'll be sorely missed. Uh, an irreplaceable aspect of this tournament, to be sure. I think that game from him had probably the most unforced errors that we've seen in any of the, any of the games yet. But let's see. If he, if he can just calm down a little bit, just start to play uh, a very, very intelligent game instead of trying to battle calm for these races to the ball like we saw earlier, then maybe there's a chance for Gengar. Yeah, he's switching up the car. He's going to be the Octane now. Just look at this thing. What a beautiful, beautiful car design. A real peach. Oh, what do you reckon? What, what, what would you put the percentage chance of Gengar coming back here at? Um, 60? <laughs> wow. That is extremely high. <laughs> wow, he must be feeling great about his chances now. Calm's going to go one up in this as well. And it is exactly what I didn't want to see. Gengar's kind of racing Calm to the ball. And Calm is the one playing the smart game. That's a, the role reversal, essentially, from uh, what Gengar is usually doing to his opponents. All right. Calm with the Ooh. flip reset there into the flick off the wall. It was done pretty well, but Gengar... A nice save. Nicely and done. Now found himself out of position. That first touch by Calm was just beautiful. Yeah, perfect touch by Calm. He knows that Gengar is going to land poorly, so he bounces the ball very quickly off the back wall so that the counter attack can not only start on the next hit, but the shot can be coming on the next hit as well. Um, Gengar, I, I've got to say, you know, two times in this game already, I mean, he's charged in for a challenge. Is he using his superior um, knowledge and uh, his superior vision in that play? Not really. And same thing when he goes for a very risky wall shot. It's a good old classic. If you go for a wall shot in that position, you're at the game briefly. You're at the mercy of your opponent. And Calm is clinical right now. This is all why I said that Gengar has a 16% chance of a comeback. Oh, you said 16. Ah, that's a, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. 
doesn't I was it? Le I was leaning a bit more towards six. Right now, I would probably put it like two, maybe two percent chance, because it's not because I doubt Gengar's ability to play well. It's just Calm is on fire. He is on such a hot streak. This might be the best that I've seen Calm play. Gengar again missing the target, and Calm's going to steal the boost away. Um, I mean, is it a seal of it's in his own end? Oh. Ball chase from Gengar, though. Okay, now we get to see the camera settings coming into good effect. He got his eye on Calm, sees exactly where he is. That was actually very sneaky to stick around there. Because he needed Calm to touch that, and Calm did. Nice work by Gengar. Working on going from 3% up to 16%. Big jumps. For the comeback. Big, big jumps, yeah. I don't think he's too happy with the way he was playing. I was on board for the beginning of that last point, and he uh, was doing, you know, some violent camera shaking. Yeah. Some very frustrated camera shaking. It's funny how often you see that kind of thing in 1v1. You get the, the, the frustrated camera shakes. And the other, I think the other tell, I've talked about this quite a few times in stream recently, but my other tell for a player being tilted is, you know, if they, whenever somebody concedes uh, on a mind game or a bump goal or a demo goal, or, uh, you know, just concedes three or two or three goals extremely quickly, and then suddenly their car is just motionless um, for the, mm -hmm. you know, two or three seconds after the goal is scored, waiting for the replay. That is never a good sign. Uh, you know, it usually means that they're wiping the sweat off their hands or uh, that they're just, like, putting their controller down and thinking, what am I doing wrong? Like, it, it doesn't scream confidence to me at all. Oh, oh. Gengar is sort of just peppering hits and shots. Oh, there the we go. Yep, beats pre -flip. him on that one. Got, gets the pre-flip to land also. And there you go. This is what Gengar needs to do. He, he sees Calm coming in, and then he outplays him. He, he's got to start playing off the superior knowledge, the superior vision he's got. That's what the whole point of these settings are. They're not for precision. They're for vision. And Gengar hasn't been playing this, uh, the latter end of the series. Um, or the middle games, I guess, if we do go all the way. As if that was the case. He's been trying to battle Calm mechanically. Oh, oh he shoots straight at him. Calm just fell on top of this. Gengar's still in a really good position, though. Has full boost. And there's the equalizer. Two minutes in line left. Gengar's back. When he came out of the goal, look at this. Look at this little look back here. When you, oh, you didn't see it in the replay, but when he came out of the goal and he used his uh, right stick to, to do the look back, he could see so much. <laughs> You can see so much. It was very obvious that he was going to be able to collect that ball and take a shot. Like it wasn't, mm. a, it wasn't a question mark at all. Whereas if he had, you know, sort of traditional settings, it would have been. That was Ooh, uh, rough. once again the the same kickoff that we talked about earlier. The fake kickoff, or not even a fake. Con didn't even pretend to go for it. He literally just half flips into the boost, and he knows Gengar can see that because he is uh, playing with the uh, max camera settings. Once again, he's half-flipped into the boost, but Gengar's not using the same counter strategy that Dead Monster did uh, show us just a couple of weeks ago. You've got to take that wide line. You've got to grab one of the other small boost pads, use that to propel yourself around in a circle very quickly, and then run the boost or run the ball into your back corner. Comes almost starved here. Gengar looking to capitalize. He's actually run out of boost as well. Woo! This is, uh, Gengar's managed to make this one close. Calm off the Ooh. ceiling here, but really nice recovery when he realized that uh, he was in trouble for doing it. And this is in, obviously, because it's a calm off the wall play. He doesn't mess these up. 5-3, Gengar is, uh, I was about to say he's on the ropes. I think right now he's just outside the ring, hanging onto the ropes, trying to climb back in. This is disastrous. Um, and again, he's gone for a rushed play. Calm's beating him to the ball. Gengar, he's not, he's not been able to find himself in sufficient positions where he can use those settings to his advantage. Calm is just controlling this match so well. Gengar oh. the dribble and makes it happen. I don't know, that wasn't, I don't think that was camera settings. That was just, just sort of awkward position here for Calm. Yeah, Calm got very close. He's, he's just stopped in no man's land, I guess. Um, Maybe he didn't realize that Gengar was actually going to make a play on that. He might have been reading another one of those fake 50-50s where Gengar just backs off and he hopes that Calm flips into the ball to pass it to him. Uh, obviously, Gengar does know how to make these flick plays. He's been bumped oh! in the middle of the air. Still got the yeah! rebound. Oh, he puts it in the bar! And Calm is trying to tilt him entirely out of this series now. That was wide open again. Here comes Calm with a flick. He's landed really poorly. 
Very well saved by Gengar. Can he get the counter-attack going quickly? No, he can't. He needs a goal soon. Oh, I can't believe he didn't oh. tap it in. With the flick over the top, should be no problem. There we go. Gengar, 5-5. Five, five. Missed the open net on the rebounds. I mean, I, like I said, he did get knocked just slightly mid-air there. The, 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 the two cars did collide, which makes it a bit awkward, but it looked like he figured it all out. He, he'd steadied himself and then composed himself just to hit the bar. Luckily, that hasn't carried on into his next plays. Now, Gengar's in a great position here. One bump, two bumps. He's got calm all the way into the goal just so he can steal the other boost away from him. 20 seconds remaining. Calm has saved up a fair bit of boost here, though. Gengar might not realize just how much acceleration Calm can bring out of this position. He sees him coming though. Plays it around him. Extremely tense end game here. Gengar needs to win if he's going to stay in the match. Here comes Calm. It's bouncing slowly on target. Gengar has got the vision though. Knows not to panic. Now he's got the zero second dribble. Oh, it's no! not going to be far enough. It was a good try, but yeah, he just didn't get enough power. <gasps> okay, surely. Yep. Nice He's shot from Cobb. Gengar takes a game. Yeah, Cobb cannot be too happy about that. Bet he wanted the sweep. He just wants to be out of this lobby. He doesn't want to hear the car anymore. He doesn't want to hear the, the boost trail. He doesn't want to hear the engine sound. Everything right now is probably... The, the, you know, the amount that Cobb is getting triggered has to be increasing by the minute. I'm just waiting for Gengar to ocal at him and just unload with some quick chats or something at some point i feel like he, he's just hiding the dagger you know what yeah I mean? he's saving it oh he's saving the quick chat to tilt him when it makes the biggest difference that's spectacular gengar is so smart what a genius of a player <laughs> i love that we're giving him credit for it before he's actually done it but yeah just wait he's gonna pull Let's it out go. gengar starting the reverse sweep Got, uh, Twitch chat news that Lion Blaze is winning 7-0 in uh, the other game on the Gold Rush stream. That's a little bit of a one-sided match over there. Looks like uh, we've got a closer run. I mean, even though Com was winning 3-0 here, the games were close. You know, Gengar kept them all extremely competitive. We didn't have any complete shutouts or annihilations in the scoreline. Gengar is uh, still still working on this comeback. The spirit, the fight is there. Yeah, you got to rate this guy mentally. I mean, everybody that he plays against must be giving him some, uh, you know, quick chat, text chat, complaining at him. They're like, what are you doing? Your mechanics are trash. He's probably heard it all, you know? He's probably heard it all, and he just brushes it off, keeps on playing his way. Oh, he's almost tight this year. Low 50-50, bouncing off the inside of the post. Oh! oh nicely done, but calm with an incredible save. <laughs> what? That was an insane read. Gengar's got a good save as well, and he's landed effectively inside the post. Now comes a follow-up. He deflects the ball into the crossbar instead. Calm unable to put a... Uh, Fast shots on target. And he, of course, Calm knows that Gengar can probably see him coming in that position, so he doesn't go completely all in for the demo. Pulls away with the recovery afterwards. Great defense by both players. Wait, Calm tweeted mid-series. I would try to get that up on my phone so I can read it, but I can't unlock my phone with my green suit gloves on. I actually, it might, doesn't recognize my thumb, so somebody has to tell me what he said. Matt, <laughs> you're able I'm to get it. the calm tweet, <laughs> the mid-series tweet. I'm stuck, Matt. I'm locked out my phone until we're done with this cast tonight. How to kick off. Wait, this isn't Google. Oh, did he actually just tweet how to kick off? Yes. Wow. No respect. He's putting all of the series down the kickoff goals right now. Right, Gengar not playing for the boost. Instead goes for the ball. You know what I'm waiting to see? I'm waiting to see Gengar use the camera look down just to, have, just to get even more vision. It's like, this isn't enough. What a save! Brilliant read there on the rebound. Gengar hunting for the open net, and he gets it. Let's look at the consistency with the power shots that Gengar has. Beautiful. So, so, dude, so players are actually mad that he uses these camera settings. So like, people let that bother them. 
I believe so. Gengar's car. Well, I think the I think the <laughs> so the amalgamation funny. of Gengar's car, the noise that his car makes, his uh, camera oh, settings. Man. I think all of that and just the way that he plays the game, because you know these camera settings, they lead to extremely unorthodox play, and people queue up to one v one, and they expect to go up against you know a ball chaser who's going for all these fancy plays, because that's what everybody does. Everybody in rank these days, especially in NA, they're all just um, you know. Discount first killer, uh, discount AJ kind of players, uh, but discount calm even. But yeah, it, Gengar couldn't be any more different if he tried. I think that annoys people. That is great. Just listen, listen, <laughs> listen to the part. Listen to the part. I mean, if you're if you're so mentally weak that someone's <laughs> car choices and like boost noise choices and stuff will stop you from. Being able to win or make you so mad that you have to be like super rude to them? I don't know. It's I don't know. Like it incredible. might be, it might be a strategy from Calm as well. Um, it could, it really could be either okay. or. Yeah. I mean, Calm yeah. has, after tough losses in one tournaments in the past, you know, tweeted out uh, some some prime salt for us to enjoy. So we, we're, we, you know, we're, we really appreciate him for that. Um, you know, providing content in and out of the game. But um, it could also just be a way to get into it under Gengar's skin. You know, maybe he's trying to tilt Gengar. We we saw Azrael try and do that to Khaled in uh, EU uh, EU Salt Mine Two, and it didn't mm -hmm. work out. But you know, you you, you always got to give it a go. You think, yeah, maybe if I want to save this guy for the ninth time, that'll be the one that really winds him up. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. Oh, let me hit him with the OK. That's that's the popular one that all the players use these days, isn't it? Yep. I mean, what do you guys think, Twitch chat? What should Calm do? What's the quick chat that, that he's missed out on so far? I'm asking the real questions now. I just love listening to it. Gengar's car. I, th I think, like, go on Calm's POV, Matt. Uh, go on oh, his, go on his yeah, POV. I and then just listen to this this little every time he goes past. It's, oh, it must be so tilting. Oh! Did he just miss this? I think he was trying to stop it on the goal line. Close to one says calm. A good choice, I must say. A good choice. Holy. Didn't get the touch. For some reason. Didn't some weird get reason. It. Yeah. Well, there's I that. mean, I would, I would fake, I would do normal chat, but I would make it look like quit chat, and I would say, nice settings. <laughs> <laughs> what a camera. That, that would be my, yeah, exactly. What an FOV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great FOB. Oh man, that's how you create rank question <laughs> mark. Hey, Calm is going in. He is going yeah, in on Gengar. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one that a lot. That is a good one. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I, I like some of his choices. Close one is a really good, solid option to go for when your opponent just misses a save. I think that's top tier. Um, Close one, unlike your camera. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, if he thought of that, that would have been amazing. Close one, unlike your camera distance. Can you imagine? Somebody go and tell Com. Tweet, tweet Com. He's watching his Twitter apparently, in the middle of the series here. Go and tell him to use that one in the, in the last 50 seconds. I think he might have this still, Matt. Five to two. Gengar needs a comeback. Yep. This match was one of the 84 percent where uh, Gengar didn't get the six. Didn't get the comeback. It's unfortunate. And you know, Calm has done well. We're, we're uh, you know, we're kind of rooting for a closer series, as always, because um, we want to see more Gengar. <laughs> but Calm has played very well. He's not been uh, completely caught off guard by Gengar's unorthodox play style and the superior knowledge that he has compared to all other Rocket League players. Just the depth of this guy's intelligence. Um, it's a difficult pit to climb out of. <laughs> I think Calm's trying to disrespect him here at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's trying to... <laughs> he's going for the tilt even when he's winning. Can you believe this? <laughs> <laughs> Outplayed, says Gengar. <laughs> oh, I love Gengar. He's actually just a treasure. What if Calm throws here? What if he throws? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's got this. <laughs> okay, he's, he's good. Got it, he's got it. Yeah, he's I was like, if he concedes here, then maybe there's a chance. Because, you know, a two goal game with 20 seconds, that's doable when a kickoff's coming up. But, yeah, well played. Calm is, Calm is looking sharp today. Um, 
going to be a complete change when he gets into that semi-final against either AJ or Chronic. I mean, that is that is the two opposite ends of the spectrum. Gengar at one end, AJ Chronic at the other. So he needs to get back into training and, uh, you know, speed up here. It's going to become a mechanical war after the next round starts. GG's from Gengar. Only respect from him. Even getting a little consolation mind game goal at the end. What a lad. No hard feelings, says Kami. I think he's just trying to give us a little bit of salt. Somebody should have told him it's a gold mine, not the salt mine. And good luck against AJ. Oh, the disrespect! Gengar, the disrespect to Chronic! <laughs> wow. Oh, Gengar is such a legend. This guy, man.